Welcome again to OTG and another video on the feature 2 of Total Commander. Show menu. At default the setting is a full, which means exactly what we see on the screen right here. All the files with the extensions, the date and the size. We can customize that a little bit. So for example if you want to show only the selected files, we can of course do that. It's very easy. We just select a few files and then we go to that menu here, only show selected files and there we go. The custom filter for example will allow us only to show files from a certain type. I will pre select like that. And in that case we can select for example all files, command, control A, but to select only predefined extension. And as already we used a total commander, all of these different filters have their own keyboard shortcuts for easy and quick access and we see as well that it remembers as well the last custom filter which we used. Pretty neat! There is also an option to choose how much of the files that we have on the screen we want to see. For example, brief will show us only the file names. A full is the default option and it's going to show the name, the extension, the date, the size and the attributes. I usually leave a little bit longer space for the names since I want to see them all in case they get a little longer. Notice that not everything is actually that texty and as you see a small icon in front of each file which defines its extension. Then we have some custom views and the thumbnail view which will now fetch all these photos and generate thumbnails for them because I have never opened any that way here which gives us time to look into the integrated view mode which is basically the viewer which activates on selection of a file. Whoa, what's that? It looks like a horizontal positioning of the paints. It's quite unnatural. I don't really like it, but Chapeau that the option is available and if one has affinity to this, it can be selected. I personally don't think so. But anyway, I'm just wondering why it's called vertical by the way. Anyway, it's horizontal. I think we can use these files here to demonstrate the integrated archive management and work tool in Total Commander. It's super easy. We just select the files which you want to marry to a zip file for example which I'm gonna do here in this and we press LF5 then this menu shows and we press enter and that's all. Now the archive is of course automatically created into the destination pane so make sure to choose the right directory or place where you want to put the archive in before you confirm and which of course can be done during the confirmation of the out of five comment automatically the target pane is pre-selected then you see the archive name buries also the name of the folder in which the files were in very straightforward and of course could be changed the same easy way with shift f6 which is renaming in place and it's a command that i like to use a lot it is basically something like an alternative to the windows known f2 which which activates the field in the name directly for writing we can type in the new name accordingly once we've renamed we can see how flexible total commander is with archives we can just go into the archive without doing any other operations look at the files inside compare them to other photos and let's look back at how it was working this in Windows Explorer and how cumbersome it was well selection works only with the mouse and basically holding for example control if we want to select non-consecutive files but it's all cumbersome and I miss the precision I miss the speed I miss the flow of the process and as well usually if you need to archive something in Windows Explorer you would need a third-party app like in this case in a context menu I have added WinRAR with which I can pack these files which I've selected in a RAR package however the package will be in the same folder in which the files are of course if I don't use one of the extended options
So our archive is ready and in order for us to open it, we click twice on it and there you see it doesn't open natively in Windows Explorer itself but in this application. So in order to gain access to the files you would need to unpack them somewhere which would take again space, time and my nerves. And this is where I always go back to my beloved Total Commander to use these major simple groundbreaking features and with that we conclude on that video thanks for being with me ODG, Peter subscribe, take a note dislike the video don't subscribe see you in the next one bye bye